Hi, this is Marcel of Marcel on Tech, and today we're talking about one of my personal favorites of 2022, and that is the Nothing Phone One. Okay, now this phone, I've come back to it because it has just been a game changer, and I really want to share with you why you might want to consider getting it now. Let's get into it. Okay, so today we're talking about the Nothing Phone One. Now, this device, I'm not gonna go through the specs because it's been done to death. If you wanna watch specs, I've done a previous video about it. There are lots of other YouTubers who have done that as well. But what I do wanna talk about is why I came back to this device, okay? So, first and foremost, what makes this device unique? So it's about the design. That was one of the features about this device that I absolutely loved. Okay, so the design, I have to say, is incredibly unique, but it does look an awful lot like one of the competitor phones, famously from a very fruity company. From the front, when you look at it, it looks almost identical. It's quite weird. They have definitely, Carl Pei apparently said that he wasn't even, wasn't even aware that uh, he'd copied the design, but I'm really not sure about that. Now, the design of this, I have to say, comfortable in the hand it's got a little bit of sharp edges but no they're not very sharp they're not as sharp as the iphones are but they it is very very comfortable in the hand now the thing that stands out of course about this device is the see-through back with of course the glyph effects on the reverse as well so if we place it down you're obviously going to be able to see that it lights up when it's charging as well you get this little effect that comes on which is very very clever so i think that is a very very smart feature that obviously makes this stand out first of all from all the competition but also because it's also nice to look at and i think it's very very clever what they've done because this basically separates this from all other android devices because when you see this or if you see someone with this you know that this is that unique brand and one thing that carl pay is very good at and the nothing brand are very good at is making sure that you, they distinguish themselves from other phones. So if you're the type of person who enjoys a uniquely designed anything, in this case a phone, then I think you would love it. Now, of course, it's a clear glass black back, so it does mean it's going to get a little bit fingerprinty, but it's easy to clean. You've got a few features here that demonstrate the, uh, the, the markings on the back, and you've got the Nothing branding there. But I really, really like it's very clean, you actually get a recording light here as well when you're recording any form of video, so that's very cool. Um, and you can even use the glyph for highlighting or lighting a face if you are taking a photo with the rear cameras and there's low light. So that's really, really cool. That actually makes it functional as opposed to just a gimmick, uh, which is super duper cool. Of course, when the phone rings, you also get notifications. So of course, in, in terms of the lights on the back. So if you have it on mute, for example, and there's no sound, you can just have the glyph going off and then you know you're either getting a message or a phone call. Again, practical feature, not just gimmicky. Now, in terms of design from the front, the screen, the panel that they've put on this, I have to say, I've also been super impressed with as well. It is just very, very clean. I was very surprised at how good a quality it was particularly for the price. Now, because this device has been out for some time, then you basically know that you're gonna to start to get deals. Now, I always recommend refurbished or open box devices um, because these are the devices that haven't got any problems with them. They've just gone back to the store um, and they're being resold for a cheaper price, which just makes sense. It's better for the environment, it's better for your pocket. And at this time of year, it just makes sense for everybody. So these are really, really uh, good value for money, I'd say. Now I got the higher end spec one as well. So I've got the eight gigabyte of RAM and I got the 256 memory. So I've been snapping videos and photos and in good light is very, very crispy. It looks good. It's very clean and clear. Um, but in low light, that's when it, when it suffers. And of course that happens with all mid range phones, but this is comparable making photos and video to some of the high-end flagship devices, I would say. Probably something like an iPhone 12, something like that, maybe a couple of years old um, flagship devices, it, was, it would be comparable to from the video standpoint. Um, but the camera imagery is very, very good. It does have a wide angle lens as well. That's not as good, uh, not as good as some of the Samsung, should we say, but it is a very solid device when we talk about cameras as well. So it's gonna be 100% reliable from a camera standpoint. In terms of software, software is gonna be as close to vanilla 
Android as you're going to get. Now it is running the Android, the latest Android software, or in this case, it's nothing 1.14, and that is going to be the latest software from Android, which basically means that you've got certain features that will work really, really nicely. Um, it's very efficient. I can get through an entire day easily and still have about 30% battery life left, um, which means I'm getting about six to seven hours screen on time, which is really, really good. Uh, but I've been using this moderately and it's kind of fit into my daily routine really nicely so that's how I judge whether or not a phone is any good it's whether it gives me any hassles whether I have to think about how to use it or it just fits into my daily because I'm using this uh, all of my Android devices uh, very frequently for making bookings um, filming for editing as well um, so I really put, a, put these devices through stress um, I get my son often to game on it as well um, on some of the devices. Now, it's not going to be the fastest, but it's definitely not the slowest. This hasn't slowed down in any way. I did trial out the black one and I had to get a hold of the white one. I absolutely love this design. Interestingly, it does actually look like the profile on underneath here has actually lifted um, and come away. So there's either a design issue here or this back has been removed and something has gone on here. Either way, I don't have any problems with it. It's just an observation that I've made on the back here because this is a little bit higher than on the other device that I've seen and I've never seen a little bit of a gap between this feature here, the, the cabling and the surface of the phone. Nonetheless, the wireless works, the wireless charging works really, really well. It does have wireless charging, which means that when I'm in my car or in my office, I can just dock it up and it's as easy as that. It goes straight onto the wireless charger and charges up very, very nicely. It's not the fastest wireless charging, but again, it's a mid-range phone, so you're not going to expect anything crazy like that. Okay, so it is very, very cool indeed. So, in conclusion, would I recommend this device? And the answer is 100% yes. This device gets for me an A rating for, as a mid-ranger, it gets an A rating because it is a solid build, it's got great memory, it's got good cameras, it's got good video, it's got excellent storage for the price because I paid under three, 400 euros for this device. Um, it's got unique features based on the design itself. And I think that nothing have done an amazing job to create interest and intrigue, but not just that, also a fully functioning device that you actually want to use on a regular basis. Um, and where the design is very, very common and popular in some of the older, let's say, Apple devices, then if you like that sort of device with the power button on one side and the volume rockers on the other, which is exactly the same as the iPhones, um, then you're gonna really, really like this phone as well. So I would 100% recommend this. I'll put some links below because uh, I'll show you where I get mine from as well. Um, if it's not Amazon, then it might be refurb, etc. So please use my links if you can. If you're using the Nothing Phone, please put a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the device. And also let me know uh, whether you would make any changes. And if you would, what changes would you go for? I would definitely personally want to upgrade the cameras a little bit to make them a little bit better quality. Um, but otherwise, I very much like the functionality of this phone and I can't wait and look forward to the Nothing Phone 2 if that comes out this year. So this is definitely going to be one of my favorite mid-range phones of 2022. Okay, so let's look forward to see what 2023 brings. All right, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you sub and like this video and I look forward to seeing you more in my next videos where I'm going to be talking about other tech. We're going to be talking now very, very soon about laptops and bringing in also some new tech as well. So I'm looking forward to it. And uh, thanks very much for watching. See you again in the next one. Peace.